one guy has recommended this online. You use female stockings. It works amazing. This video is an experiment. Um, the method used in it works, but it has some downsides. You have to understand. It will have reduced airflow. It will have higher temps. Like your system generally will have higher temps, and uh, it will have a very nasty look. So bear that in mind. You're watching Andres reviews, and let's get to it. There is dust definitely because it's been six months. A very fine grain dust. You still have to clean it. This is nothing comparably as it used to be. Everything was covered. Two layers on this side, two layers on this side. It's not flawless. It looks terrible. I know it looks terrible, but it works. And there is one on the bottom as well. Let, let me show you. Yep. As per the dust screen, it's always better to take it off and then to clean it, but if you really have to, you may use the blower, something like this, like you may see the review of this on this channel as well, but it will not be as effective. It's better if you take it off, because we have a few layers of this cloth and yeah, it doesn't break through. It breaks through, but not as good as if you disassemble this. So the idea is that this cloth holds the big particles, big dust particles, and stockings, they hold very, very small particles. Having only cloth on the front, which lets a lot of air in, is not enough. Because if you have only this, I tried it, without the tights, it doesn't work that well. The idea for today is to do a wireframe down here, somewhere, and I'll put the tights on top of it. Let's open this and see what's inside. Wow, it is dusty inside. It collects a lot of dust here, the small tiny particles everywhere. And what is very interesting, you've got this first layer of tights and it's better on the other layer that's here. So the outer layer is not as dusty. Let's do it from the front. This one is not as dusty because I did vacuum this. The actual dust screen that is provided with this case. It's better than nothing, but proved to be not really working well. Let's open the front. Even some holes there are interesting. <laughs> Two very potent, powerful Noctua 20 centimeter coolers. Very potent, move a lot of air in. And very quiet as well. Some dust here, that's expected. But most of it was caught by the tights, so tights proved very effective. And one extra thing, guys, we cannot just cover front in tights and expect everything to work. You must understand where the intake is and where the exhaust is. There is one very important principle you need to understand, which is the positive or negative pressure. For example, you have one exhaust fan and you have two intake fans. So there are two air flows in, one out. It means you have positive pressure. It means you have extra air in and the air will be forced out of your case from all of the possible holes. And vice versa, if you have like two air flows out, one air flow in, you will have the negative pressure inside of your case. So the air, the excessive air that's needed in the case because it's forced out, it will be coming from all of the holes. These two methods are different because if you have the positive pressure, it's much easier to deal with the dust. You just force everything from the front. You have the filter on the front and all the excess is pushed out, is forced out from, from various holes, but you don't care about those holes. When you have the negative pressure inside, all of the air will be coming from all of the holes and you need to have filters everywhere. So that's a very big problem. And very unluckily, the negative pressure is actually better for cooling performance. If you have negative pressure, the cooling is better. But positive pressure provides better dust control because you need to have only one filter on the front. You get everything from the front and all the excess is pushed out. The difference is marginal from what I've read. I haven't tested it personally. It's very difficult to test this type of stuff. But generally, what I recommend is to have the positive pressure 
so you don't have to deal with all of those holes that you have to cover with all the duct tape and stuff. But if you really want to, you may make it negative, but then use the method shown in this video, use the smoke test to see where all of the stuff is getting into your system. Everything will be coming from all the possible directions, from left, from right, from top, from all the small little holes you have no idea are there and they will be sucking in the air. So yeah, that's the basic understanding about the negative and positive pressure difference. From many holes around the place, like for example these holes, if they're not covered, the intake will be coming from here as well because there is a pressure inside. And all the holes, everything has to be closed with the duct tape or some equivalent because if you do not close this the intake will be coming from here so that's the way it works <laughs> this is the exhaust from a graphics card this is the main exhaust here so this is not covered okay, what i plan to do i have two metal rods i'll cut those and i'll use them as a wire frame hacksaw to cut those basically use duct tape it's not really reliable joint but i think it will suit my needs here and we've got all sorts of different tapes here we've got much more than that so i'll be doing a review of those tapes as well and this is where it looks assembled actually very wobbly so apparently duct tape is not enough welding is much better choice here but i don't know how to weld and don't have the required tools and that's the way it looks inside now it's so rigid awesome now tights of course so guys one extra thing make sure the tights you buy are proper size because these are too narrow and the tension is so high that you see this rod it got bent these are too small i need to go and buy some different it looks better but still you see this is the biggest size and the tension is still too high you see this top rod the way it is bent not as good as I expected. I like the tension because it makes it even everywhere. They sliced it in half, so I'll probably use duct tape. So this is uh, what it looks like. It's as nasty looking as it gets, but hopefully it'll get the job done. Look from the inside. There are some holes on the perimeter, but those holes are minor. So this is well, it looks like from two sides. Only one problem. When I took my measurements, I did not put the cover on. And when the cover is on, it has some hooks inside. So those hooks interfere with the frame. The air should be able to pass through. And this cloth I'll keep on the front. And it's very wide, good airflow, and it holds big particles. So we've got the afterburner on. All the fans are maxed out. So you can buy these in Home Depot or uh, Aroma stores, the scent stores. These sticks are very cheap and this it works this way. Wherever air goes, the smoke goes as well. So it's really easy to visualize the airflow. Yeah, we have the fan down there and it works flawless. You don't need any expensive testing methods. You can easily use smoke so you see if my stick is down there actually grabs the smoke so I can see the intake is there definitely and I do know that the intake is here as well on the back of the power brick but right now it doesn't get in for the reason that under load my C-Sonic switches on the fan and pushes the air out so that is how I know and actually let's move to the front so this is the front of the case and you see what happens goes directly in don't do it for a long time because you will push a lot of smoke into your case but basically this technique works flawlessly amazing and you can test all the holes and all the problems that you may have in your case so previously these holes were not closed okay careful careful this is actually burning so you can you may burn your cables so these were not closed previously and the air got through them so it has been exactly six months and let's check how this worked out there is some fine dust but nowhere near as much as it could be because check this out this is only from one week of usage 
so I wipe this constantly and this is from six months so this filtering proves to be very effective you still get the dust there is no way escaping this fine dust but if I haven't had this everything will be covered inside completely so experiment successful that holds a lot of dust man we got some fine dust as well on those 200 millimeter coolers and all the big particles are there I vacuumed this constantly by the way so I did vacuum some of that out and uh, speaking about the coolers H5M uses 200 millimeter coolers this uses 140s and I decided to go with the 140s because these 200s are good they push a lot of air in however the static pressure is not good so they do not break the barrier like you need to break this through and apart from that 200s like they are not RGB those are very difficult to find the very rare coolers and uh, yeah 140 is just I think it's gonna work better in this case once again guys this video is an experiment the method used in it works but it has downsides like reduced temps not reduced temps reduced airflow which makes higher temps treated with a grain of salt you may use some of the principles described here at least i hope it was educational for you and uh, thank you guys for watching stay tuned we'll see you later